So I understand you needed a little help with filling out your medical history forms. Okay, I can definitely assist you with that. So let's see, here today we've got one, two, to go through. I'm sure you are familiar with the types of questions on these forms. If there's anything you don't know the answer to, that's okay. We can fill that in at a later time. Okay, so are you ready? Okay, so this first page here just goes over some of your basic personal information and a personal health history and immunizations okay. all right so can you please tell me your name last first and middle initial And male or female. And your date of birth. Okay. So that's today's date. That would be 2 19. Okay. And your marital status. Is that single? Okay, you're married. And number of children? Two. And how many of those children live with you currently? Okay. And how about your occupation? Either your current occupation or if you're no longer employed, your former occupation? Okay. And who is your previous or your referring doctor? Okay. And do you remember the date of your last physical exam? When was that? Okay. 
How about a colonoscopy? And how about a DEXA scan? Okay. Now we're going to go over any surgeries. Can you please tell me any surgeries that you've had? And the year when you had it done, and the hospital where it was done. Okay. Okay, and where was that done? All right, and next. All right. And where was that performed? Any more surgeries? Okay, what year was that? Okay. Okay. And which hospital was that done at? All right. All right. Now down here. Any other hospitalizations? So, were you ever hospitalized for any reason other than the surgeries that you listed above? Okay, and what was the reason for that? Okay, and to which hospital? it? Okay. Have you ever had a blood transfusion? Okay. Now, if you can please list any other physicians that you have seen in the last 12 months and for what reason. Okay. Okay. A routine visit. Okay. All right. And what was the reason for that visit? Routine checkup. Anything else? And, okay, all right, so our first page is all complete, let's move on to the next page. your medical history. I'm going to go through this list and you just stop me and let me know if you have ever had any of the following, okay? All right. Alcohol abuse, anemia, anesthetic complication, anxiety disorder, Arthritis, asthma, okay. how about any autoimmune problems, birth defects, bladder problems, bleeding disease, blood clots, blood transfusions, bowel disease, breast cancer, cervical cancer, colon cancer, 
depression, diabetes, growth or development disorder, hearing impairment, heart attack, heart disease, heart pain or angina, hepatitis A, B, or C, okay. high blood pressure, high cholesterol, HIV, and hives, kidney disease, liver cancer, liver disease, lung cancer, lung or respiratory disease, any mental illness, okay, migraines, okay, osteoporosis, prostate cancer, rectal cancer, any reflux or GERD, how about seizures or convulsions? Severe allergy? Sexually transmitted disease? Skin cancer? Stroke or a CVA of the brain? Suicide attempt? Any thyroid problems? Okay, ulcer? visual impairment, other disease like cancer or significant medical illness, okay, and are there any other past medical problems that we haven't listed here? All right. So, for the bottom half of this page, we'll look at any medications that you're currently taking, and then we'll take a look at your family medical history, okay? okay. So, can you list any prescribed drugs or over-the-counter drugs, such as vitamins and inhalers, that you are currently taking? And how often do you take that? Okay. Do you happen to know the dose of that medication? Okay. Anything else? Okay. And the dose and frequency of that medication? And anything else? Okay. And do you have any allergies? Okay. Okay. All right, so now let's get into your family medical history. So please indicate if your family has a history of the following. And again, I will list these for you and you stop me if one does apply to you. So when thinking of your family history, please only include parents, grandparents, siblings, and children. Okay. okay. And you can also either choose you are adopted and don't know your biological family history, or your family history is unknown. Okay. So again, any family history of the following, you just stop me. Alcohol abuse, anemia, anesthetic complication, arthritis, asthma, 
bladder problems, bleeding disease, breast cancer, colon cancer, okay, depression, diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, any kidney disease, leukemia, lung or respiratory disease, okay, migraines, osteoporosis, other cancer, rectal cancer, seizures or convulsions, severe allergy, stroke or CVA of the brain, thyroid problems. Okay. Now has your mother, grandmother, or sister developed heart disease before the age of 65? Okay. Has your father, grandfather, or brother developed heart disease before the age of 55? Okay. So, let's see. Now this page here, we're going to take a look at your social history. It will ask questions about your behavioral patterns, okay? Right. Again, that was... Okay. All right. And I'll remind you that all of your answers here are strictly confidential, okay? First question, do you exercise? Okay. How many minutes per week do you exercise? Okay. All right. Are you dieting? Okay. Uh, is this a physician prescribed medical diet? Number of meals you eat in an average day. Okay. Can you please rank your salt intake, whether it be high, medium, or low? Okay. And the same for your fat intake, high, medium, or low? Okay. And how about caffeine? Whether that be in coffee, tea, cola, okay, coffee, and how many cups a day? Okay. Do you drink alcohol? Okay. Okay, yes, what kind of alcohol? Okay. And how many drinks per week? Are you concerned about the amount that you drink? Okay, these are all yes. Yes and no questions for the rest of the page, okay? Have you considered stopping? Have you ever experienced blackouts? Are you prone to binge drinking? Do you drive after drinking? Okay. Do you use tobacco? Okay. So this doesn't apply. How about drugs? Do you currently use any recreational or street drugs? 
Have you ever given yourself street drugs with a needle? Okay. Are you sexually active? All right. If yes, are you and your partner trying for a pregnancy? Okay. Any contraception that you're currently using? Do you have any discomfort with intercourse? Okay, let's see. Now moving down to your mental health. Is stress a major problem for you? Okay. Do you feel depressed? Do you panic when stressed? Do you have problems with eating or your appetite? Do you cry frequently? Have you ever attempted suicide? Have you ever seriously thought about hurting yourself? Do you have trouble sleeping? Have you ever been to a counselor? Alright, on to the next page. Okay, so now on the next page, it's a little more social type questions. This is all about personal safety. And it's all yes or no questions. So, first question, do you live alone? Do you have frequent falls? Do you have vision or hearing loss? Okay. So, physical and or mental abuse have also become major public health issues. This often takes the form of verbally threatening behavior or actual physical or sexual abuse. Would you like to discuss this issue with your provider? Okay. How often do you have sun exposure? Occasionally, frequently, or rarely? Have you ever experienced a sunburn? How often do you wear a seatbelt? So, let's see, this question is for... Alright. Do you usually get up to urinate during the night? Do you feel pain or burning with urination? Any blood in your urine? Okay, let's see. Um, have you had any kidney, bladder, or prostate infections within the last 12 months? Do you have any problems emptying your bladder completely? Um, okay. Next page. Okay. Okay. So, let's see. Alright, we've come down to the last page here. And this page will ask about advanced directives, living wills, 
and a few more medical type questions, okay? Do you have advanced directives, which is uh, any instructions about decisions made, any instructions about your future future medical care? Okay. In the event that a person becomes unable to speak for himself or herself, for example, a living will. Would you like additional details about dir advanced directives? Do you have any religious or cultural beliefs that may impact your health care? Okay. Alright. I best learn new information by, and you can please select one, Verbal instructions, written instructions, or pictures. Okay. Level of education completed, and that can either be less than high school, high school diploma, or GED, one to four years of college, or more than four years of college. I understand English well, yes or no? Okay. So for this middle section here, I am going to list some symptoms and if you can please just say yes or no, whether you have in the past or are currently experiencing uh, these symptoms, okay? All right. Fever or chills, eye pain or red eyes, earache or loss of hearing, chest pain or palpitations, shortness of breath or wheezing, abdominal pain or vomiting, Pain with urination or urinary incontinence. Muscle or joint pain. Skin lesions or skin wound. Confusion, convulsions or seizures. Suicidal or sleep disturbances. Decreased libido or sexual desire. Easy bleeding or bruising. Okay. Feeling poorly or tired and fatigued. Eyesight problems or discharge from the eyes. Nose bleeds or discharge from the nose. Fast or slow heartbeat or cold hands and feet. Cough or shortness of breath with activity. Frequent urination at night. Joint swelling or joint stiffness. Itching or change in mole. Dizziness or fainting. Anxiety or depression. Swollen glands. Recent weight gain or weight loss. Dry eyes or itchy eyes. Sore throat or hoarseness. Muscle pain or swelling in the legs. Difficulty breathing while lying down or sleeping. Heartburn. Limb pain. Limb 
weakness or difficulty walking. Change in personality or emotional problems. Deepening of voice. Vision changes, ringing in ears or sinus problems, any history of heart murmur or heart attack, coughing up phlegm or blood, urinary frequency, back pain, Nail discoloration or deformity. Numbness, tingling, or frequent falls. And any hair loss. Okay. And any other symptoms that we haven't listed here? Okay. everything we need to fill out today. I will place this in your file, so when you're ready for your visit, you'll be all set, okay? Sure, thank you so much.